Hello. Right, I am on a buying ban still, even though it's just gone the uh, it's either the 31st or it's the 1st of the next month. Um, I bought some today, payday, so. Um, I bought a few, well this is a little frame, um, worth £2.10. What am I going to put in the frame? I actually found, there it is, can it's safe. It's an actual um, set sheet from the tournament. So this is from um, the 4th of August. Wow, couldn't have planned that. It's almost it's 12 years <laughs> to the day. I think it's the 1st of August tomorrow, so there we go. That's freaky enough. There's a call sheet for us, uh, 8 o'clock at night, so it's the night shoot. Um, truck, pole mines process, truck, pole mines process. It's pretty much a night of uh, pole mines process. Um, Vin Rames was needed. Carlo was needed, Kimberly Chan was needed, and I was needed. So it's got my name and contact on the back. And it's just got what we were filming that day, like the script. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it's going to fit in there perfect. Uh, I've got like a, a bigger call sheet. So I kept a few, I kept quite a lot of these, but you're talking 12 years. Stuff gets filed differently. And weirdly, uh, you must remember if you buy any frames, always check the plastic. Because there's always a double plastic on these. So yeah, um, it's pretty cool to find one in these. Just perfect. So I'm going to go there. Grace Bell's birthday call sheet. Wow. Um, I should really message Keith that because Grace Bell is Keith the producer's daughter. Actually, I'm going to frame that. He's probably going to want that. <laughs> Mm. Fit it in there. No, Josh. It's gonna go in. It's gonna go in. There. It's in. Just. So I'm trying to put Hurricane Rain out of a job. Who's a professional firmer who did that? Thank you very much, Frame House. And that is the tournament sheet framed. I don't know what's got a gun, but if anyone asks what it was. You were looking for bin rims that day to do a scene in a poor man's process. Right, so I've got another frame. That there. And I'm going to put these in. Not me fucking... Oh, my Castro. Found that the other day again. It's very rare. Signed by all four members of Castro. They're doing the music video. Hopefully. Yep, yep. So these are an original, one's a gift of Spoonhead, the one's a gift of Cooper. Again, clearing out stuff, um, I frame them up. I just didn't want to get any more damage because one is from, that's my Blade Runner vinyl on top of my Blade Runner vinyl, 1979, and this one is from 1978, Marvel Godzilla comics. Right, so today I bought a steelbook. Now, I own a few wrestling Blu-rays. I own a lot of wrestling VHSs from back in the day. Scattered all the way down there. I've got a lot of wrestling uh, DVDs. Blu-ray wise, I've got <laughs> NWA, Undertaker Streak, Randy Orton, Ladder Match 2, 50 Greatest Wrestling Moves, Fall Counts Anyway, and Rivals. Fucking honestly, man, the top 50 count on the wrestling moves. Like, the Million Dollar Dream and the Cobra Clutch are the same move. The Sharp Suda and the Scorpion Deathlock are the same move. They should not be at one end of the spectrum of the table. And JBL's clothesline should not be number 50. That guy could take your head off with that thing. So this is WrestleMania from a couple of years ago. Um, seven pound to me when we staff discount. Brand new steelbook. Um, I watched this one and this is memorable for a couple of reasons. Not for Bray Wyatt losing the belt. Not for Roman Reigns going over The Undertaker. Not for Goldberg and thing too um mainly because of the hardy boys return now so the roller coaster steel book on the front cover on the back wrestlemania i mean this steel book's not really shout about inside wrestlemania i've literally bought this because of the hardy boys return now on the back if you didn't know the hardy boys return they also return and win it's like roman reigns wins beats the undertaker randy orton wins the belt brock lesnar wins the belt wwe are completely gooning this right They've did it with the Royal Rumble a couple of years ago when Triple H is on the front cover. Not only is Triple H the surprise, and Triple H is like, he wins it. What's the point of like, you know, 
we used to buy them and look at them and go right okay um, let's have a look for one um, here we go nope better not pull out WCW Chamber of Secrets there's a VHS missing um, Hulk Hogan's greatest matches is no it's not going to be on there so there's a heat wave one here so here we go he's an ECW heat wave so on the front corner we've got Tommy Dreamer and on the back Dory Jr. versus Roadkill versus Nora and Chris Chetty. Right, that's the match. No way at any point does it tell you who wins or loses. So, okay, surprise. Not with fucking WWE stuff. It's like, ooh, hardcore tape. Look at that. That's been used in a wrestling match. Right, this is a random unboxing of WrestleMania Steelbook. It's a pretty, pretty nasty steelbook, but for £7, uh, for what it means. When the Hardy Boys came out because of a surprise thing, right, my internet crashed. And by the time the network we started the Hardy Boys were in the ring, I was like, what the fuck? Seeing the outtakes. So here's the only outtake there. It's all framed on there. Oh, cool. I was gonna try and put like a brick background in it, but I kinda like it white. So yeah, thanks to Cooper and thanks to Spoonhead once again. I have no idea where that's gonna go. But as I say, I wanted to preserve these. So picking up the frame. Bought this one from HMV, it's not like I've bought a frame and restored it. So it's nice. Somewhere to hang it eventually. Not now, there's a lot of stuff just creeping up the wall. I will show you me obsessive compulsive one that I made the other day actually. That's an outtake. <coughs> so got this frame a while ago. <coughs> there we go. Ah. So it's brick wallpaper, which I've had from the wall in the other room. Um, the posters from a gig poster from the guys. The set list is an M for Monkey for me. And um, when they played the Trillions, the signed album, and an arcade, but it was awesome. Uh, I just need a few more clips because the frame was only a quid. But I just need a few more of them clips or good old fashioned duct tape for the back. Again, once it up in the wall, it'll not too matter. But I made that. sitting out in the hallway but yeah when I was sorting all this stuff out the obsessive stuff came out the wall if you look around the old better FA footage from when I was in the old house um, you will see that poster quite dominant on the wall but yeah thanks for watching goodbye for now and now the end is here